guys what's happening so just picked up a new video card on offer up they finally came down in price picked up uh, an asus uh what's it called a 1660 super tough gaming um yeah they finally came down this i got this one for 350 and uh yeah i mean it's they they at, at the height they were probably like around the 600s so these cards would typically retail for about 250 to 300 dollars um, so let me show what I currently have. I'm actually added to my NVIDIA rig here. Um, that's my 3D printed binding rig if you've never seen it before. I have videos about it. It's all, it's 100% 3D printed. Um, so I have a couple rigs here. I have other rigs that you can't see here. I'll go through in Hive OS and I'll show you what I got. But So I got four uh, RX 5700 XTs, Red Devils and Sapphires. And on my NVIDIA rig here, I have uh, a GeForce uh, 3070, and that was my. This was my first mining card that I bought. This is another 1660 Super, but it's a ROG Strix Asus edition. So this is the actual same card, but kind of like a lower end model of the same card. Um, yeah, it has a bigger heatsink and everything, so it's a better card. So um, I can actually only add one more uh, card to this because my 3070 is already taken up two A pins. And there's four eight pin connectors on this power supply. Because originally I had, uh, in my original videos, I had like uh, four uh, RX 470s, four gig cards that I took out and started replacing with these better cards. So, I gotta shut this down. The cool thing about the NVIDIA cards is you don't have to BIOS mod them. So, um, like with the NVIDIA cards, I BIOS mod them to get more hash rate. But these, I don't have to deal with that. Um, so, the 1660 Supers get about 30 mega hash. And with the uh, fixed core clock, I can get this down to about 65 watts. So I'm going to bring myself on up and I'll show you the uh, what I'm currently doing for wattage. And I'll show you before and after what I'm doing here. But actually, I currently have a, uh, a power meter right there that I actually connect with my cell phone. And I'll show you that real fast. All right, so let me show you. I'm currently pulling about 220 watts or 222.6 watts. And the cool thing about this application is I can actually remotely power this off. So this is actually handy so when I'm not here, and let's say that this rig locks up, I can click on the click on the power button here, and anywhere in the world I can shut this off and back on. Uh, because actually when I was up there working on my cabin on Big Bear, this thing was locking up a lot. Not with these actual cards, but like a previous setup I had. And, uh, you know, I'd have to get my wife to come out here and pull the power out. So I wanted a solution I could do remotely without having to bother. So. Alright, so I'm going to have this thing shut down. I'm going to do some uh, updates on HiveOS, and I'm also going to update the drivers. So, uh, this is actually some other 3D printed stuff that I designed. Keyboard shelf, monitor mount. Um, so I'm going to come back up, do some minor upgrades, upgrade force. And I'm also going to update the uh, NVIDIA drivers too while I'm doing this. Yeah, yeah, grab a riser in my box here. Yeah, since I never have this rig down, I'm just going to blow up the air compressor. All right, so I boot it up. So I might have to boot it up a couple times until I get the order right. Sometimes you got to like alternate the uh, PCI cables. But I don't think I'm going to be buying any more uh, AMD stuff just because when Ethereum goes to 2.0, I mean, I, this, I don't, this, who knows if that's really even ROI. But, you know, I think the NVIDIA stuff is a little bit more versatile when it comes to different mining algorithms. So uh, with this thing, I think you're kind of just kind of stuck with Ravencoin and a few other things, but. You're gonna be a lot more. You're gonna have a lot more versatility with the uh, Nvidia stuff. All right, so I got to make sure the order K thirty seventy. All right, so I didn't apply a flight sheet, so I'm gonna go back and do the overclocks, and I'm gonna go back on my computer, and we'll take a look at it. All right, so let this thing run overnight. Not really doing a lot of overclocking this thing, but uh, right now, with the riser, because the riser usually takes anywhere from like thirty to fifty watts, so we went from two twenty two to three oh seven. So that includes the actual card, which is pulling, it says it's pulling about 57 watt, plus the riser. So, um, was that a difference of, I don't know, like 80 watts probably, somewhere in there? All right, I'm gonna go back into high vest and I'll show you what's up. All right, so this thing's been running for about uh, about 24 hours and zero crashes. Um, during the summertime, I don't really overclock these things very much, just because I don't want them to run hotter. Uh, it's already hot enough in my garage already, so um, so during the summertime, I don't really overclock them that much. Um, because I could actually bring this up to 31 mega hash, 
you know, 31, 32 if I really wanted to push it. But I mean, I'd only really do that probably during winter time when it's a lot cooler out here. Um, but yeah, this is it, the 3070, and I have the uh, the two 1660 Supers. So my original one, the um, Rog Strix, uh, that actually has the Samsung GDR6 memory. And then uh, this newer one, the the Tough Gaming, actually has Micron memory. I mean, they're both good memory, so it's it's not really, you know. Um, I kind of like the Micron a little better, typically. I mean, Samsung, they're both good. I mean, they're both actually fantastic memory. Um, Hynix is a little bit iffy sometimes. Um, all right, let me go back and show you quick what I got on the uh, other rigs. So the same thing even with my uh, four RX 5700 XTs. I don't really push them very much. Um, because I could normally actually probably bring this up to like 55, 56 mega hash, but it's not worth to actually burn the card out for a few mega hash during the summertime. All right. And then I also have this, uh, six, uh, RX 580s. So, all right, cool. Um, yeah, I can't really get that many more in that one rack. At least I could probably get a couple more RX 5700 XTs, but I don't really want to buy any more AMD stuff. And... You know, even this 30, these, I, I even paid scalp prices for the 3070. I think I paid like, one was $800 and the other one was 750 I can't remember, but it was, um, so all the, NG, all the, well, except for one, but all the NVIDIA stuff that I bought, um, the newer stuff was actually uh, post like GPU apocalypse. So I had to pay like scalp prices. So, um, yeah, I'm not probably going to buy any more unless the prices come down. So. I mean, I should be able to buy these things for about six hundred dollars each, the thirty seventies, but six six hundred, six fifty. But um, actually, I, I prefer this thirty sixty Ti because the thirty sixty Ti gets about the same mega hash as the thirty seven or thirty seventy, uses a little bit less power, and it also only has one eight pin connector, uh, power connector. So it's I think it's actually a better value, the uh, thirty sixty Ti. So, but then you have to find the one that's the the L L it's called low hash rate or LHR. All right, cool. So one more card. Uh, we'll see how long it goes for, but cool. Yeah, I just wanted, like I said, some more versatility. So like when the uh, Ethereum 2.0 comes out, uh, I can actually mine more algorithms. But all right, guys, cool. <laughs>